But let's stick with Labor's annual get-together where the Indigenous Australians Minister Linda Burney made these curious comments about The Voice. She said, the arguments we want more information and so forth, what you are being asked to do as a referendum is not design the curtains, it's whether we need a voice to the parliament to recognise our people and we will win this. I have absolutely no doubt about that. You have absolutely no doubt. Now, I'm all for being positive in the face of adversity, but Minister Burney is either incapable of reading the public mood and the many polls on the race-based referendum, or she is in deep, deep denial. How can she possibly say, I have absolutely no doubt about the yes vote prevailing when we've just had four major polls, all of these polls have shown that the yes vote is failing and failing rather spectacularly. Is Mr Burney deliberately misleading the party faithful or does she believe that the massive war chest that the Yes campaign has, the corporate support from the likes of the AFL, the NRL and Qantas is going to get the Yes vote over the line? And while we're on Qantas, they hosted several celebrities at a Pro Yes event this week where the airline stepped up its activism for the Yes camp. I'll be speaking more about that on Outsiders on Sunday morning, but it's worth noting that yet again, we had to watch dangerous, divisive lies being spread by members of the Yes camp. My mother was part of the Flora and Flora Act when she was born. She was then taken away, stolen generation. It's quite frankly incredible that in 2023, in the midst of a national debate about constitutional change, we are still having this ugly untruth uttered by people who should know better, including Adam Goods. Aboriginal people have never been considered flora and fauna in this country. Even the ABC acknowledges that. Um, they completed an extensive fact check on this issue where they found that Aboriginal people in Australia have never been covered by a Flora and Fauna Act, either under federal or state law. That was published back in 2018, and yet we keep hearing that lie even today. And again, the ABC had to issue a correction this week for airing those comments on the drum. On August 14, the program included a news clip of Adam Good stating that Indigenous people were once governed by the Flora and Fauna Act. This is inaccurate. Indigenous people in Australia have never been covered by a Flora and Fauna Act. You know, a key architect of The Voice, activist and academic Marsha Langton, wrote in The Australian earlier this month that the public square has been flooded with egregious lies about the referendum proposal. What she failed to mention is that many of those lies come from the Yes camp, and not just from random Twitter trolls with six followers, but from prominent people who should know better.